Okay guys, it's uh, ADC Melbourne here. Um, I'm going to uh, do a video on um, the oxidisation of the paint on this uh, BA Falcon again. Now I'll give you a close up, as you can see, I mean, there's a bit of bird poo over there and we've got a bit there as well. But as you can see, the paint has kind of faded and it's effective all the way down here. But, you have a look at the rest of the car, I know it needs a good wash, but if you have a look at the rest of the car, there's hardly any fading. So the bulk of the impact of whatever's causing the oxidisation, some people say it's the sun, some people say it's chemicals, blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is, uh, we're going to try and see whether we can better it. Now, I've got a couple of things I want to try. Now, to deal with this oxidisation, what I'm going to do is, I've heard a lot about this clay soap. Now, that's supposed to take all the, all the, the, the nastiness out. Now this is a particular kit, you can buy the clay bar uh, soap by itself. Now this kit comes from most auto parts stores, so you've got clay and you've got quick detailer, so you put on the, after you've washed it down with wax. But, first of all, I'm going to use some car wash shampoo and conditioner. Now it washes and conditions, it's not as harsh on the paint as a lot of the other stuff. Then, after it all, I'm going to put some wax on it and see how long. Now, what we've got to look at is how long is it all going to last for the money? I mean, is it better just clean the car down, putting some detailer on it, or and then putting some metal, I don't know, clear gloss uh, paint or sealer on it, rather than continually just needing to wax. As you can see, I showed you that the only top, uh, top of the roof is the only part that's been affected, but the rest of it hasn't. So, I mean, you, you just drive it in traffic and see some of the older model cars. It could be the bonnet uh, roof. Um, you can have the boot, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So, okay, what we're gonna do, start with this, follow it up with that, and then that, and we'll see how it all goes. All right? Okay, there it is, washed in with uh, shampoo, and I've hosed hosed it all off as you can see it's still wet I've done the back there as well so let's get on with the clay section basically instructions it says we need a bit of a lubricant and it comes with a car detailing spray and just do a portion at a time and then wipe it down so let's get to it and see what happens okay that's what a bar of clay, clay, clay soap looks like now they say break it into three pieces need it uh, so you can fit under them four fingers so I'll get stuck into that. I'm going to get some gloves too and put it on because I don't know what these chemicals are going to do to your hands. Okay, I've just uh, put the wax, uh, not the wax, the uh, I've sprayed the roof with this uh, quick detail and mist and wipe. And I've used this, this is what the clay looks like. As you can see there are bits of gunk that came out. I mean that's been rolled over a couple of times but as you can see, well and truly there's some black gunk and all sorts of crap there. So whether it does the job or not is another thing. So I've washed it all off. As you can see, there it is. I'm just going to get a chamois cloth and then I'm going to wipe it down and dry it all. And then I'm going to put the quick detailer on it and follow the instructions with that before putting on the wax. So we'll see how things go. Okay. That's the shimmy's taken bulk of the water off. Now, as you can see, there isn't much difference to the top of the paint color. I mean, you compare that, and here, here's the side there, and it's fairly good. And there's a very high gloss and metallic there. Now, the row is certainly a different thing. That, it's certainly taken something out of the, off the, off the top of the paint as you can see here and here so I haven't put the detailing on it yet but I'll do that next okay there you go you can read the instructions for yourself keep your car looking sharp number one spray the mist on spread quickly turn towel wipe dry that's what we're going to do right now and see what the end result is okay here we are this is after the the circle detailing has been put on now as you can see, there's not much probably difference in any shine or anything like that. It may have moved some gunk, but uh, it's certainly not going to improve where the paint has been oxidised, I suppose. 
after years in the sun. But what I don't, still don't understand why certain parts of the car get more affected than others. Um, so, we'll see what happens after the wax has been put on. Okay guys, there it is. It's been put on. This is the wax. Now it's used sparingly, as you can see. That's the other stuff that hasn't dried yet. Used sparingly, let it get dry to a haze. And then uh, polish it all up. So, funny thing is, this car is what, 2003 model. Parts of the paint are hardly touched by the sun or whatever else they reckon causes it. But my parents had a HJ Kingswood and it rusted out. Sorry about that, but there's a bee trying to home in or a wasp. And um, they had a HJ Kingswood and it lasted longer the paint lasted didn't even fade it actually rusted out before it uh, faded so i don't know what they're putting in modern paints to make them go like this so you know we're within 13 years so i mean you've got to actually understand the life of a car is expected to be around 20 years for the average bloke i mean you know there you go i'm going to let it dry and then we're going to come out here and we'll buff it all up and clean it all off all righty okay guys there it is, finished, waxed off. I used an electric buffing machine, so it made the job a hang of a lot easier, but as you can see, I don't think, it may do a good job on fairly new paints and all that sort of stuff, but on oxidized paint, as you can see, it's still the, so this would be something you'd have to do literally on a weekly basis. And yeah, for somebody who's working, you know, 50, 60 hours a week, and you're just uh, wanting to keep you, your day-to-day -day car up and running. It's certainly not a collector's car, a BA Falcon, but uh, uh, I don't think that process was good. The clay soap certainly got some gunk out, I mean, as you can see in the video, but uh, for something to keep oxidized painted why, away, you know, it's, they say, well, you know, the only option is get a new coat of paint, but I'm gonna check to see whether there's um, some sort of clear gloss paint out there that I can put over the top of it that'll protect it. I mean, there's got to be stuff out there, heavy duty stuff that people use for, you know, industrial use. Well, we'll see whether it can work on car paint. Alrighty, well, cheers guys. I hope this video will clear up a few things.